please subscribe. Execution vehicles aren't constantly about animal power. All things considered, what great is enormous power if the vehicle doesn't have the foggiest idea how to utilize it? That is the reason I like the 2020 Ford Mustang EcoBoost with its new high-performance package choice. In addition to the fact that it gives the turbocharged Stang a power help, it accompanies the updates important to convey it absolutely. The high-performance package doesn't utilize the retuned form of the Mustang's 2.3-liter turbo 4 motor. Rather, it gets the 2.3-liter turbo motor from the Ford Focus RS, which has been revised to fit a back-wheel drive application. The RS motor can deal with higher revs and more weight, so it's been furnished with a bigger turbocharger, pushing out 22 pounds per square inch of lift, contrasted and the base Mustang's 18 pounds per square inch. The outcome is 332 strength, 22 more than the standard EcoBoost Mustang, and a sound 350 pound-feet of torque. Be that as it may, the numbers just recount a part of the story. As it's been said in parody, it's all in the conveyance. The HBP Mustang pushes out pinnacle to work somewhere in the range of 2,500 and 5,300 revolutions per minute. Far superior. The torque band is level from 3,000 to 4,000 revolutions per minute, and the motor can deliver 90% of its pull at a continued 6,500 revolution per minute redline. That implies there's a huge amount of intensity regardless of where you are in the rev run, and regardless of the rigging. Go hard in first apparatus and you'll hit 40 miles for every hour before you have to upshift to second. Passage says the HBP Mustang can quicken to 60 miles per hour in the mid 4 second run, on its way to a top speed of 155 miles per hour, a 34 mile per hour increment over the Bass Mustang, excepting you have the space to hit such a VMAX. Obviously, winding the Mustang out in each apparatus will wreck your mileage. The HBP Mustang isn't especially productive, yet Ford says it's as yet fit for restoring an EPA assessed 23 miles for each gallon joined. The high performance package is accessible on both the Mustang EcoBoost car and convertible. In the event that you truly need the best involvement, you can include a discretionary taking care of pack top of the HBP overhauls that gets you a bigger influence bar, torsion restricted slip differential, magnum ride dampers and thingy Pirelli P0 costs of 4 tires. It's a $1,995 alternative over the $4,995 HBP update, and tragically, my test vehicle doesn't have it. Womp. In any case. Once more, the HBP treatment isn't just about power. At that $4,995 cost, you get Swagger Pinnacle supporting, a non-torsion, read, not as great, restricted slip differential, clingy however not super clingy Pirelli P0 tires and the bigger front brakes from the Mustang GT. The vehicle's hardware have been recalibrated to loosen up the solidness controls have to intercede, and the electronically monitored slowing mechanisms and five drive modes are somewhat less secured for more who owning fun. With Sport Plus mode driven and the movable controlling set to track, the Mustang assaults a twisting byway with zeal. At 3,758 pounds, the Mustang convertible is as yet an overwhelming vehicle yet it corners with remarkable balance, and the level to work bend implies I can keep the motor bubbling in second gear through a long arrangement of two and fro bends. Lamentably, the four-chamber Mustang doesn't sound especially great. It's best in track mode, where I can hear a couple of throaty reverse discharges when I upshift at red line. However, I need to reset the fumes programming each time I start the vehicle, regardless, the Mustang defaults to normal where it seems like a fart in an espresso can. Outwardly, the Mustang HBP gets a bigger front splitter, midsection container and brake cooling slopes, all of which originate from the Mustang GT's exhibition bundle. I like the old-school red, white and blue badging on the gleam dark grille and back belt, another piece of the HBP redesign. Inside, drivers get two extra checks, on for oil weight and another for turbo support. 
HBP Mustang is additionally get a case numbered plaque on the dashboard. The EcoBoost Mustang gets a decent measure of speed dirty tricks innovation, including line lock for the best smoky burnouts, just as a suite of track applications like clap and increasing speed clocks, a brake execution meter and dispatch control. Infotainment tech is overseen by Ford's astounding Sync 3 sight and sound framework with standard Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, and the HPP Mustang can be had with vulnerable side checking, path keeping help and versatile journey control. The 2020 Ford Mustang starts directly around $27,000, and my convertible test vehicle with their high performance package comes in at $40,260 including $1,095 for gold. In case you're considering lifting one up, certainly spring for the $1,995 taking care of bundle, if just for the great mag ride dampers. The consuming inquiry is, the reason get a HPP Mustang when a base, 5.0 liter GT costs generally a similar sum. It's a reasonable problem, all things considered, it's difficult to contend against the GT's 460 pole V8. Truly, I incline toward the parity and elements of the less amazing however better dealing with the HPP Mustang. What this vehicle needs out and out power it compensates for with better on-street habits. Disregarding this bundle since it doesn't have a V8 would be a major, enormous slip-up.